What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel where I do weekly pick a card readings that challenge you to explore all things growth. And we are currently in the pink full moon in Scorpio. This is the first super moon of 2021 and we're just going to pick a sphere. You're going to take a deep mindful breath in, make sure your lungs fill completely and meditate on the different spheres we have here. If you're drawn to more than one sphere, that means there's more than one message out there for you you. First, a huge thank you to my subscribers. I love you guys so much. My channel is growing every day. Thank you for purchasing items out of my corner store, for booking per personal readings, and for your donations. If you are new to my channel, you are just going to take that deep mindful breath and make sure you meditate on the stones that are drawn to you. We have a rose quartz fear. Pile number two is the amethyst sphere. And pile number three is the clear quartz sphere. Now again, I'm just taking full advantage of the super moon, pink moon, full moon in April 2021. Let's see what this pink full super moon energy has to say to us today. You're going to take that deep mindful breath in. The timestamps will be in the description down below. So when you're ready, let's grow. What's up, pile one? You chose the rose quartz sphere. This is our pink super moon full moon reading. We're going to start with our tarot. Ace of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. The Star. Ten of Swords. All right. So right off the bat, pile one, we're going to have to do some inner work and some self-love healing to uh, heal from this Ten of Swords situation because this is something that um, we're holding on to. This is like a betrayal or something that we thought was going to go one way but didn't go that way. And... Um, we're still, it's still in our thoughts all the time. It's still painful for us to, it triggers us all the time. It's still painful for us. So we need to take some time to heal from this past trauma or this past situation or whatever, this betrayal that happened because it's our biggest um, blockage when it comes to this um, rebirth and this um, um, new passion that we want to put out there. So we're driven and we have this passion that we want to put out, but we have these blockages from this trauma or this betrayal that we're holding on to. Um, I see success in the future to where you, you're, um, you're able to contribute in a way that you've always wanted to. I feel like some of you guys are wanting to be healers or maybe just um, counselors, therapists, doctors, um, just someone that helps, someone that helps. You're very heart-centered. Um, I see you becoming, for some of you, becoming a, very, a leader in your field or possibly becoming famous because of the, the um, decisions that you make. Um, for some of you, I see um, possibly a new love life happening after we do this self-love work because some new love is wanting to come in but either you're not trusting it or you're feeling like you're not deserving of it or you're just not seeing it for what it is because you're stuck in this ten of swords. You're still stuck in that I got betrayed or I just can't trust or maybe you're one of those all men ain't shit or whatever gender, whatever. Maybe you're stuck there. So some deep, 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 deep healing needs to be done. Um, watch uh, what you're consuming, who you're listening to. Maybe we're over-consuming something. But you, um, 
you're on the right path, you're just on it. Uh, <laughs> uh, spirit is saying you're going down the right road, you're just going down it intoxicated. <laughs> So um, let's just make sure we have some clarity and that we're not uh, over consuming things that are, aren't good for us, that aren't serving us. Because we are driven, we are passionate, we do have the essence and the charisma to be a star and a leader in this thing that we want to produce. Um, even if you don't have a thing that you want to produce, something new is going to come in your life and spark a passion to where you are going to have something, an idea, or um, be driven to do something new. But again, we have this betrayal, this stab in the back, this... Um, <sighs> What's good about this is that it can easily be healed. You can easily fix this. It, by just going within and um, realizing this shit that you've created already around you, realizing the abundance that you have around you, realizing that you're a bad bitch and that you're put on this earth to help other people, to uh, spread this love and this light and this energy that you have, this passion that you have. You're supposed to be using that to help people. You're supposed to be taking this pain that you're holding on to and... Um, using it as fuel for your ascension if that makes sense so this your the pain is there for a reason you have to cut cut it off but you also have to use it in a way to help other people as well because you are a star you will be a leader in your field you are on the right path you're just on it intoxicated <laughs> That is so funny. That is so funny. So uh, let's sober up. Let's get clear headed. Let's realize what we came here to do. Um, and just be led by our heart and our passion. Right after we get over this. Uh, th it's almost over. This pain and this betrayal and this holding on to this, uh, this tension. As soon as you give it up to spirit, give it up to the divine. Have faith in your dreams. You're very close to achieving your goals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bring love into the situation. Okay, like I said, there's somebody. There's somebody trying to give you that wand. There's somebody trying to give you that wand. They're drawn to you. You're just not noticing it because um, you need to heal from whatever's pissing you off over here. Um, you need to have more trust and more faith into the divine and in this timing. You're being impatient about this timing to where you can't even see this this energy trying to come toward you um more self-love um this i feel like you're tired of hearing this i feel like you've grown impatient and untrusting that you can have this is because you keep hearing this and you keep hearing this and you're like i keep hearing this when when is this love going to come in it's because you haven't been honest with yourself about this part about what you're still holding on to it's because you haven't been honest with yourself about this and because you're not trusting the energy that comes in, this love energy that comes in, because you still haven't healed from this yet. But this is an easy heal. This is an easy heal. As soon as you be honest with yourself and realize that you can do that. Because right now I feel like you're angry and you're irritated because you, you want this energy so bad and you keep hearing that you deserve it and that it's coming but you can't see it because you're still blocked by this energy. So more self-love so this love can come in. You're very, very, very close. Please trust that. Just trust that. Have more faith in spirit and the divine and the di divine timing. Please trust in it. Wisdom. The 
unexpected. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Self-love. Uh, 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 uh. I love being right all the motherfucking time. I love it. I love it. So you're in giving mode and not in receiving mode. You just love, 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 and you want to give, 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 and you're so heart-centered, and you just want to go and give and love because you think that's how you're supposed to get love, but it isn't. It's about you just loving yourself and people recognizing that. People recognizing your confidence and being drawn to that energy. You want to attract, not chase. You want to attract because you love yourself so much and so confidently that people are drawn to that. Self-love. And then the unexpected is gonna happen. Have faith, have faith. You're smarter than you think. If you feel like you don't know, then educate yourself just a little bit more. It's your mental instability that's blocking you. This is a mental thing swords that is a mental thing yes it's something that happened to you yes it is something that happened to you but it's in your head space it's not continuing to happen to you only in the head it is so we're going to love ourselves more by sitting and reflecting on the things that we've already done and the things that we've already created and how awesome we are we're going to heal we're going to stay on this path but we're going to be more clear-headed on this path so that we can see this passion that's wanting, that's drawn to us. It's drawn to our uh, sexuality. It's drawn to our intelligence. It's drawn to our passion and how hard we work. But it's being blocked by our own, by how we feel about ourselves, and by us holding on to this past betrayal. choices sevens that means you're highly intuitive it's being blocked though crown chakra healing please high priestess of spirit mm -hmm. and there's another seven so you need to use your intuition and this deep connection that you have with your spirit guides to heal from this past trauma, this betrayal, this um, this energy that's got you feeling all crazy in the headspace. Because you have several different guides. Um, you are divinely guided. You have several different guides looking after you. You can see all the faces up there. But um, you haven't slowed down enough to meditate and connect with yourself that's not two people that's one connecting with yourself so that you can really tap into this intuition because there's you again with another guide trying to help you and um yeah you're not paying attention your head is still foggy your head is in the clouds so you have this divine guidance you do have some decisions and some choices that need to be made you're being in a little indecisive about it pile one but all that, all it's going to take is some meditation, connecting with your higher self. It's all it's going to take. The rhythm of the breath directs rhythm of life. That goes back to that meditation. When was the last time you meditated? Don't lie. Don't lie. You, you need it. It's showing it here and in here.
I feel I free myself from critical thoughts towards my body and my worth. Mm -mm -mm. Now look at it. Now the truth comes out. Now the truth comes out. So some of us are over consuming or thinking we're over consuming. We have uh, body image issues that we need to heal from. Self-worth issues that we need to heal from. There's a lot of eights on the table, so that means you need to take action on that now. Action means active, um, eight means activity, action. Now, now, now. Play is my pathway to joy. Yep, that's that, that means more physical activity as well. More physical activity that you enjoy. Playing. Bringing more joy into your life and letting go of this betrayal that's got you all in your headspace. All right, so more meditation. We're healing, we're staying on the right path, but we're sobering up a little bit, some of us. Okay, people are drawn to our wisdom, our strength, our hard work, our generosity. We need to be able to let it in by trusting our 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 spirit guides more trust more trust more trust all right pile one that is your pink moon reading please like share comment and subscribe if you haven't already it is completely free to join my tribe if you want an in-depth personal reading for yourself you can book that at thehoodredhippie.com until next time you have a wonderful day and always be mindful of your growth what's up pile two you chose the amethyst sphere this is your pink full moon, super moon reading. We're going to start with your tarot. Card number one. King of Cups. Two of Swords. Divine Wisdom. Page of Swords. The Magician. <clears throat> okay, so some of you may be, be being indecisive about, I don't know, maybe a love situation. you may have some choices here as far as a love connection and you're being indecisive about it but um, it could be coming from a selfish place you feeling like you can do both but Let's just be careful and use some discernment. I feel like there's more that you, one that you like more than the other, but you're getting something out of the other that you're not getting out of the one that you like more. Um, I feel like you can possibly get burned in this situation if you keep on with this. Because you're not undeserving of it. If you want to um, have multiple partners, that's your business, but to keep things a secret for selfish reasons um, isn't great. So let's just be honest with the people that we're sharing our love with. <clears throat> I'm also seeing um, a little bit of some more self-love going on in your life as well, because you do have the quality to get the things that you want all the time you seem to be able to manifest the things that you want all the time but you may be getting a little <clears throat> in over your head because you haven't done <sighs> you're in denial about something there's something in the dark that's going to come out in the light 
there's some secrets around you and you need to start loving yourself more now before the secret comes out because it's going to hurt. It's going to hit right in the heart space. You have just some big, big decisions coming up, pile two. Some huge, huge decisions piling up. So you need to get yourself in the right headspace now. Surround yourself with the healing type of people right now. Use discernment. Because um, I feel like a truth is about to come out that's going to be painful. It may be you being honest with yourself and being honest with the, your partners. Or it could be someone else coming in and being honest with you about something that you, that's going to blindside you and make you lose faith a little bit. But if we take the time to heal now, we're going to understand that this energy is coming in. And unfortunately, I feel like it's karma coming in. Unfortunately. I feel like you may have been a little inconsiderate in the past, a little selfish in the past. You're in denial about this a little bit. And something that you did in the past is going to be coming up and um, <sighs> bite me in the ass, unfortunately, pile two. So we're taking our time we're using discernment we're tapping into this intuition that's coming in we're going to be calm about any information that comes in because it's for the greater good it's for us to get our, to know ourselves more so that we can use this our magic abilities for to help and heal other people instead of just focusing on on yourself um like i do see this great this i see a great person but i do see someone that kind of just focuses on themselves a little bit maybe a little bit inconsiderate because <clears throat> like i see these magical abilities but i don't see you sharing them with anybody in any of these cards There's nobody in these cards with you. Like there's not even a spirit guide in these cards. So it's like <clears throat> everything you've done, you've done on your own. So you put yourself uh, sort of on a pedestal pile uh, too. If that's rubbing you the wrong way, it's, it's because you're in a denial about something. You're in denial about these aspects of yourself. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you grew up getting the things that you want, or maybe you've had things handed to you. I'm not quite sure why this, this uh, selfishness is coming up, but it's something that you need to look inward about. <clears throat> Be bold and make the first move. Confidence is your key to success. What do you need to release? All right. So there is some type of secret and it seems like maybe you're holding on to it and you're gonna have to have the strength to um, the strength and the confidence to be the one to uh, let the secret out. And I think it is, it has something to do with the love situation. Please take it how it resonates. If it's not a love, but there's just too much pink going on for it not to be a love situation <clears throat> in my, in my space, the way that I read. But, um, there's something inside of you that needs to come out. We need to start being honest with ourselves about that. Enough with the secrets. Creation.
balance. Peace. So <clears throat> you are capable of creating the life that you want. You just need to use balance. Um, you just need to be balancing out your creation so that you're giving as well as receiving and not focusing just on you getting. That's where you're going to find peace is when you can find how you can be of service to other people. As soon as you give up these, this secret or this thing that you're holding into the divine or whoever needs to hear it, you need to start working on ways that you can be of service to other people. Finding a balance of give and take. That's when you're going to really find peace. Um, you may have had to think about yourself. You may have been put in a position to where you had to work for yourself and make this life of your own. And you've done that. You're a badass at creating a life for yourself. You're a badass at making things happen for yourself. <clears throat> but in order to really use this magic, we have to start thinking of how we can be of service to other people. Conclusion. Oh. Confidence. So we got confidence twice on the table. We have confidence twice on the table. Confidence is the key to success and we have confidence here. So in order to um There's something that you're holding on to and you feel obligated to hold on to it. You feel like you have an obligation to hold on to this secret, but um, it's burning you up inside. I don't know if it's someone else that's taking your confidence away from you and that's why you're holding it and you're, you're afraid to let this secret out or let this information out but we really got to build on that confidence so that we can start speaking our true desires there's something going on with a lack of confidence here on why we're not expressing ourselves and why we're not trusting it's like we have so much love to give but we're spreading it in the wrong ways to the wrong people, it seems like. We're not getting any satisfaction out of it. Not as much as we would like. Getting the wrong type of attention and satisfaction out of it, I guess. More lust than love. <clears throat> I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We have the magician, we have creation, we have, I craft my core desires. So you can make it happen. You can make it happen. There's just something in that needs to be let out. I unleash my wildness and choose to be free. Mm -hmm. Yes. I forgive and let go with loving ease. Okay. So like I've been saying, there's something that's in that wants out. There's something that you need to let go of. There's a deep, deep decision that needs to be made here. A deep, dark one that needs to be made here. There's a truth that needs to be told. Some confidence building needs to happen so that we can speak our truth and start sharing our love with the right people. There's something that you need to let go of and you need to find that confidence to let it go. 
or it's going to burn you up. It's going to keep burning you up. You need to do a, it's the full moon. You need to do a, uh, a cord cutting spell, a releasing spell, a detachment spell. Now is the perfect time. See that moon? To release everything to the moon. Burn it up. Let it go. Start thinking of how you can be of service to other people. Start thinking of how you can be of service to other people and then you will find your true passion and your true desires. Because right now we're in the dark. Some shadow work needs to be done because <clears throat> you got the magic. You got the magic. You can make anything happen. Like any spell that you do, it just seems to pop off. You need to understand that about yourself. I don't know if you truly know that about yourself. All right, pile two. We are releasing what needs to be released. We are gonna do it with confidence. We are gonna feel, we're gonna release our obligations to whoever was making us feel obligated to them. decision making and we're going to figure out how we can be of service to other people all right pile two if this reading resonated with you please like share comment and subscribe it is completely free to join my tribe if you would like an in-depth reading for yourself you can book that at thehoodredhippie.com until next time you have a wonderful day and always be mindful of your growth what's up pile three you chose the clear quartz sphere this is your full moon, pink super moon reading. We're going to start with your tarot. Card number one. Three of wands. The sun. The lovers. Seven of Cups. All right, pile three. There's something that you're wanting to walk away from. Maybe it's a love situation. Maybe you're trying to walk toward a love situation, but you have to um, use some discernment with the decisions that you're about to make. You are divinely guided, so it seems like whatever decision you do make, it doesn't really matter because you are divinely guided. You're gonna lead to success. So if you're feeling like you need to walk away from something, walk away from it. If you feel like you're wanting to walk towards something, do it. But I feel like um, you just need to be careful with what's guiding you. Because you do have some choices here. You do have some choices on where you want to go. It will lead to love and abundance and success and passion but let's make sure we're not biting off more than we can chew when we do make this decision to leave or start a new journey or or get on a new path pay very close attention of what's guiding you down that path but all I see is just abundance and success and love and stability once you find the strength to um walk away i don't know what's holding you back um maybe some dependencies maybe some addictions i don't know but um I see togetherness. I feel like somebody giving you the strength as well to walk away. It may not even be walking away. It just could be starting anew for a lot of you guys. You could just be confused about where to go next, but it doesn't matter. Just have faith and take that, that leap. I see great, great, great things coming in your future 
multiple choices. Abundance, blessings, dreams coming true. Like having your cake and eating it too. I see all of that. So just be careful that we're not over consuming. Be careful that we're not letting all of this get to our head. Making sure that we're giving as well as receiving. Because the success is near. Hold your vision. Meditate and contemplate. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Yes, yes, yes. So um, when you go down this new path, when you do find the strength to um, start anew or walk away, it's not going to be the easiest road. That's why I said use discernment and be pay very close attention to what's guiding you down this path. Are you going down it for you? Are you going down it for a shiny object? Are you going down it for someone else? Is someone else guiding you down a path that's similar to the path that you're trying to get the fuck off of right now? So you really need to meditate and heal. Not, not even really heal. Just meditate and really have clarity on what is guiding you toward your desires. Be very clear on what your why is and hold on to that vision because you are going to have things coming in. Uh, um, trying to stir the pot. Your commitment is going to be tested toward this vision that you are either having or about to have. Because I see some forward momentum happening here. We just have to make sure that we are taking time to have that stillness and that breath. Are we balancing the sun with the meditation? the sun and the moon so during the day we're driven and we're going towards our goals and at night we're doing the self-love and the meditation and being just at one with our thoughts and our true desires so uh this personal situation that you got going on that you're wanting to walk away from that you're wanting to walk toward whatever it is the solution is within you it's in your vision it's it's something that you're going to create. But you do have you do have a support system whether you know it or not. You're not alone in any of these. Not even this one in your meditative meditation and contemplation. So, you got spirit guides, you got some loves in your life, you got some friends, some companions. Maybe some professional help that you're seeking. But it's all there. Just hold on to the vision because that road is going to be a little bit bumpy just because of all of the decisions that you're having to make here. Power. The path. protection okay so you know what to do you know what is is your your passion you know where you're trying to go because you're intuitive like all of this blue on the table and this power with the full moon back to back you're very intuitive so I have no um I am, I'm very confident that when you have all of these decisions to make and all of this stuff presented to you, that you will make the right decision. You will choose to go down the path, but are you going to actively pursue this path? Once you hit it, hit the ground running and don't look back. Do not look back.
you have the power to create your own destiny with this high intuition that you have. You're very power, powerful intuitively because you are divinely guided and protected in the decisions you make and the things that you want to do. You need to have faith in that and trust in that. Because again, you're, you're not alone here. In this pool, you're not alone. In this pool, you're not alone. And in this pool, you're not alone. In pile two, they didn't have anybody with them in any of their piles. That is not the case with you. So again, it's that balance here. We're finding that balance between <clears throat> our strengths and our passions and our desires and our stillness and our breath and our meditation. We have to make sure that we're balancing those out so that we can be at our fullest potential. That orange with that blue. This is your, like your power and your drive and this right here is your intuition and your breath and your flow and your stillness and just kind of listening to yourself. This is the, your drive and your determination and your work, work, work. Balance that out, please. Know that you're on the right path. Whatever decision you make, whatever you decide to walk away from, it's going to lead you to abundance. rigid groove excuse me growth movement yeah so whatever situation you're in right now you're unsatisfied with it it's not free-flowing enough for you. It's too rigid for you. Um, well, I'm seeing a lot of moons in here. Yeah, I'm seeing you being held back because of... Um, because of some of you it's because of a dependency issue and because of maybe an addiction something that you're just really uh, drawn to maybe a passion a lustful thing um, but that forward momentum that forward movement just get just go 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 this is you just stopping and saying should I go should I go should I go yes go go I am at home in my body and at peace in my spirit. Mm. We are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. That's that togetherness, man. You have got people with you. Strong fin rising right there. My inner compass knows the way. So we're just going to meditate so that we can make the right decision here. We got so many choices here. Like that one looks great. That one looks great. But is it the right one? Are we just going towards these because they're shiny? And because they look good? But no matter what, love and success, it's happening, it's coming. Please trust that. Please trust that. Your guides and your intuition your guides and your intuition 
will lead you down the right path. So don't be stressed out about this decision. You're going to clearly know which one to make when you're presented with all this. So don't stress out about that. All right, pile three. Beautiful reading. Beautiful reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It is completely free to join my tribe. If you want an in-depth personal reading for yourself, you can book that at thehoodrathippie.com. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. And always be mindful of your growth. Watch them grow, perceive default. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow.